Okay, so this is the replacement hood for my girlfriend's Jeep. Her Jeep is green. Obviously, this doesn't make sense to put it on here. We're just gonna paint it black, but at least it won't be tan. Okay, so to do this, um, I'm just gonna use a respirator. I don't know if this has lead in it or whatever it is. Some gloves, because you want to keep the grease from your hands off the surface. I have 220 and 100 grit sandpaper, some primer, and I have 120 grit sandpaper on here, just because it's gonna be easier to use the hand sander instead of just using my hands. Okay, so when you're doing this, you don't want to apply too much pressure because you're going to start keying through the paint and into the metal. And no matter how much sanding you do with your hand, you're never going to be able to get it out. I bought respirators for a reason. All right, so I have it sanded not down to bare metal, but it's sanded, the clear coat's taken off, and it's keyed up pretty good. Now we're gonna do a primer, but first we just gotta do some, some wiping, so I'll probably use some water. And if it's dusty, obviously, paint's not gonna stick. All right, so surface was dusted, and then we wiped it down with soapy water, and then we dried it off with another shirt, so this is just an interior, uh, exterior primer. It's good for metal, so this should be fine. So I already got a little, little coat of primer on here. Each coat takes a minute to dry. Um, I'm just gonna kinda coat it until all these bare spots are just totally gray. And then after that, we might do a little bit of sanding again. It says paint plus primer. Paint plus primer sucks because if you're painting on a bare substrate, you still wanna prime it. It's paint plus primer, but that doesn't really mean much of anything. All right, so this has been primed and wet sanded down to a 2000. Now we're gonna start doing this. So the first coat you want to be pretty thin, so you're probably gonna wanna see the primer through it. And then once you go on the second coat and third coat, that's when you're gonna start seeing your color form. Coat one is done to the black. You're gonna to wanna to wait a little bit for this to dry. The can says, make sure you recoat within the hour. If you don't, then you have to wait 48 hours to recoat. All right, so this is coat number two on the hood. Um, it's still wet, obviously, but um, this stuff is supposed to dry very shiny. Okay, I'm going to start coat number three on this thing. It's looking pretty shiny. It's got plenty of orange peel, though. Three coats I think is good enough. I am going to be putting this on when the car is back and running. So this is the stuff I just used for this hood. It bonds to plastic, wood, and metal. Uh, this 2X, I believe, is coverage. So this goes two times further than regular uh, regular types of spray paint. Uh, I would use a 2K clear on the whole thing. I'm not going to, this will dry like this. The camera is not doing a good job at picking up the orange peel, so it doesn't look as good as it does on camera. The 2K clear would do a really good job at making this a little bit shinier and it would make it much more durable. It would have it last a lot longer, but it's 20 bucks a can. And just for this project, it's just not worth buying it. This has been on me for three hours now. And these have been on me. For about three hours now. I don't know what it is, but I, I, my, my hands are super sweaty. You would think I washed my hands and then put the glove on before drying my hands. 